Hi, I am Marion from Uganda. I love computers. They interest me. They have always interested me for a very long time in my life. I first used a computer when I was 13 years old. Can you imagine? I am now much, much, much older than 13. But hey, I look 16. Now, but before we get into my love, for computers there is something else that I have discovered about computers and something that I love that I was introduced to five years ago I'm in this lab first day of training I go switch on my computer and guess what I see a black screen get what next white words I am in shock I look at my mentor and trainer and he tells me if you have questions ask Google I almost collapsed it was too much for me. First day and I am already in a panic. But well, guess what? Five years later, I am loving free and software. I have started a business with three other friends of mine based on free and open source software. One of my friends who is in this course with us is an ICT manager at a fully fledged free and open source software university. Can you imagine? And guess where? Where we met? In the lab. He was training. I was the office manager. Well, life and this world can be very, very, very round. What have I learned from free and open source software? I have learned that there are many things I can achieve. There are things that I can do. I have been around the world. I have hosted conferences. I have been part of conferences based on free and open source software. Something that, as you can imagine what I said earlier, gave me a panic attack the very first time I interacted with it. Our business has grown. It is impacting the country and the city where we live. People come looking for us for it. We are training people. They are loving it. We are growing businesses. We are helping people grow their businesses because in this country, it is quite, quite hard to start a business. It's even harder when you're having an ICT business and you can't find licenses because they're very expensive and you have to use pirated software. So, here we are, five years later, and I'm doing story change. Why? Because I dared to go free and open source. Now, in Kenya, our neighboring country, the president, called Uhuru, I'm sure you have heard about him because of all the ICC sagas, but did you know that his name means freedom? And did you know that he has just signed a huge deal with Microsoft Software as a company to provide Microsoft installed computers to Kenyan children in school? Well, Microsoft not open. Uhuru freedom mean and that is something that I stand for as a free and open source advocate freedom versus closed where do you go or where do you lie what does this mean for the movement what does it mean for Kenyan children in school it means they are going to be focused on only one platform for all of their lives which in my opinion is just wrong it is wrong. It is sad. These children, I'm not saying we get rid of Microsoft software. No. I am saying give me a chance to choose what works for me. That is what I'm saying. That is freedom. That is free and open source software.